Drone Racers, I'm Mark, and today on Drone Racer 101, we are going to update the x Light radio to the latest firmware available from FreeSky. This radio ships with 222, and that's not officially been released yet. So in this case, I hadn't updated it until I needed to, which I do now. FreeSky has a new release here, and the important part that I see here is they've added support for the R9M light module, including the bin files and everything that we need. I have an R9M light on the way, so I definitely want to load this. I don't know if it would work with what's included here or if it needs upgraded or not, but I'm going to upgrade it because besides that, I want Lua scripts. I want Betaflight Lua scripts, and Betaflight has also released compatible Lua scripts for this radio, and I want it all on there. So to start with, I'm going to download this file. So inside this zip file, there's a whole bunch of files and there's EU and non-EU. I'm going to go with non-EU mode 2. So I've got this non-EU mode 2 bin file. This is the one I'm going to load onto the radio in just a little bit. The other thing I want are the SD card contents here. These are the SD card contents for this build. So I'm going to go ahead and download those also, get them ready to go for later. Now, if you watched my video on updating the SD card contents, we did not use this file because it does not match the build that came on the radio. However, this will match the build that we are going to be installing now. Okay, in order to load this, we need some software called OpenTX Companion. You can get this from open-tx.org. We did not need this for the last video, but we do need it here. So I'll go up here to downloads. And what I need right now is a nightly build. Here's the Windows nightly build. I'm running Windows, so this is what I'm gonna go into. And this will give me lots of options. So what I have done is loaded the latest companion nightly build. Now this is 4222. Nightly build basically means it's not quite ready for release yet. We'll basically call it a beta. This is in beta right now. They don't recommend you fly on these builds. However, we just need this tool so we can recognize the x Lite and get the software which hopefully should be stable, released from FreeSky, fingers crossed. After you download that, go ahead and install it. I'm not gonna walk through the install. And then run it. So here's OpenTX Companion 222 Nightly Build 622. Now we need to go back to the radio and get it ready to load. So there's kind of a unique method for this radio to get it into bootloader config. What you've gotta do is you've got the button here, the trim button, so it's always with the trim button that you get into these modes. And what you have to do is press down and hold this button all the way so it's holding all four corners down and then press the power button. And I'll say it's kinda of tricky. What I found works best is to hold the bottom button down and then kinda of rock it forward and that didn't even work. So here it takes a few tries and you don't hold down the power button, you just click it. There we go, I got it. So there, now we have the option to write firmware. What I'm gonna do is connect my USB. There we go, USB connected. Now back in my software, one of the things I'm gonna do is read the firmware from the radio. I want to read it, I wanna save the firmware that I've got here. So I wanna save it just in case I need to go back to it for whatever reason. Then I will go to write firmware, read write, write firmware to radio. I will choose I've saved the bin file here, and I've got my non-EU mode 2 bin. I will choose that. Click open. While I'm at it, I'm going to choose a custom start screen. This is one that one of my patrons created for me. This was made for the QX7. We'll see how it looks on here. So there, now there's my build. I'm going to write 2TX, and it will write, and hopefully finish. Flashing done. Done? Done. I will disconnect USB. Go down to exit, Welcome to open and it'll reboot with my logo. Look at that. So here I've got an SD card warning because mine was 22V15 and now we need the 16 code. I'm gonna plug USB back in and go down to USB storage. Now I've got the radio connected here and what I'm gonna do just to be safe is I'm just going to flat out delete everything on this card. I don't have anything else saved here that I'm worried about. So I'll just delete that. And I'm doing all this just in case you're starting from scratch and you have to go through this process. I probably should have left sounds because everything I wanted was already there. So now I have the SD card Tyrannus X7. You'll notice it says X7 V16. This is the one I downloaded from the FreeSky website and I'm going to copy it onto the drive inside of the Tyrannus. And this is going to take a while. 
15 minutes, holy cow. So while that copy's over, I'm gonna go here to GitHub and I will link this down below. This is where the Betaflight TX Lua scripts reside. Now I want this because there's a new one here released a day ago, Betaflight TX Lua, and the main thing is it supports the FreeSky X Lite. So it will work on this radio. So I'm going to just download this zip file also, and then we'll save this until the rest of the copy is done. Oh good, I'm back. I went away because I got bored. So all right, the Lua scripts now here, I've downloaded this file. I'm gonna just copy these two directories. And here's the copy of the SD card I copied over. Now I'm just going to copy and paste these Lua scripts in place right here on the root. So the other thing I need to do is go back and copy my Amber sound files or else everything would be wrong and I would have to throw my radio away. So for this one, we'll go into sounds, EN, and paste. This will take a while also, not quite as long though. Okay, here we go again, replace the files in the destination. Okay, we're done, that works, great success. Oh wait, let's try it. Now unplug my USB here. Let's turn it off, turn it back on just to make sure everything's good. There Welcome we go. To OpenTX. Thank you, Amber. No errors. That's perfect. Good. Okay, so I got a little closer here. Now I'm going to hold right stick to go into the quad menu. I'm going to press left stick, which I really appreciate that benefit of here. And here I've got telemetry. It's already set up. Page 13, I've got screens. So I want to go uh, screen one, and I'm going to go over to script and select script. And I'm going to go right again. And now I have BF. That's beta flight. So I will exit out of here. Now I can hold down on the stick and it will go into Betaflight. Now I've got no telemetry because I don't have a quad turned on. So let me fix that. So as soon as I plugged it in, I automatically read my PIDs and I've got pretty much everything I could want in here. It's just gonna read right through. Now one of the things I really like here, I'm on my PID screen and the one you always want to change, the reason most people do this is to be able to change their video. Now, instead of scrolling all the way through, I can just push left and there's my VTX. Yay! Just to make sure it works, you can see my super messy table right now. Now I'm gonna click and change this so you go up and down. So I'll change it to from Race Band 1 to Fat Shark 1 and click, turn it solid. To save it, you press right on this stick and it's kind of hard to read, but it's Top option is save page, so I will click and it will save and reboot and my video has changed. So now if I go through back to Fat Shark 1, there we go, we're good to go. Now one thing that happens is it doesn't display automatically here right away. You actually have to go off the screen and then back and then it will show. So now it shows I'm on Fat Shark 1. There we go, that's actually Fat Shark 1. But I'm on Fat Shark 1 at 200 milliwatts. I don't wanna do that, so here's one where I'm gonna also then change this up and down. Let's see, if we go up to go down, that's a little weird. Save that, I'm gonna save again, save, and there we go. So now, if I go off this page and then back, I'm at 25 milliwatts, so I'm not gonna burn this out on the bench. So there you go, super handy, super convenient. It gives me everything I want, and now I'm all upgraded, so when my R9M light module comes in, I am good to go. I should be able to just plug that in and you know I'm gonna show you that. I have to, cause I way overpaid for it just for you guys. But if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. I will update this again once 222 is in full release, as long as it supports the R9M light module. Maybe it already does, I don't know. But just to be safe, I went with the FreeSky release version. In a later video, I'll worry about downloading the firmware through Companion. When anyone asks you why OpenTX, where all its complications is worth it, this is your answer right here. This one page makes it all worth it above everything else.